Hey there, laser makers. Today, I wanna to share something super cool with you guys. It's called Glowforge Preview Mode. This feature gives you the ability to visualize your designs before you even start cutting them, which allows you to perfect every detail until you get it just right. This is kind of a dream for my visual brain. So let's be real. If you're new to lasers, without having a preview, working on laser projects can be kind of like a guessing game. Is it gonna look good if I engrave it? Is it gonna look good if I score it instead? Do you kinda get that? Or if you're like me, sometimes it's hard to decide what I actually wanna make because it's hard to imagine what it's actually gonna look like. I usually end up wasting material or end up with something that I don't really like very much. So that's why I like the Glowforge preview mode so much. You can avoid making those annoying mistakes. You can use your material way more efficiently and play around with different design ideas until you find the perfect one. So today I'm gonna make three different refrigerator magnets. Now I'm calling them different, but they're actually all exactly the same file. But they look completely different after I've printed them because I've changed up the settings for each one. And with preview mode, I get to see what each one looks like before we print it. So let's jump in and let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here I am in the Glowforge interface and I wanna design a magnet. So I know I wanna make a round magnet with maybe a flower on it. So I'm just gonna make the design in the interface. Now, if you have Glowforge Premium, it, you have access to all these really cool features to make all of this really cool stuff inside the interface. But you don't have to use Glowforge Premium, you can easily create something in the software of your choice. So let's go ahead and make this magnet. Let's do a circle and I know that I want to use a flower. So I'm going to go over to this little plus sign and type in flower to find the artwork that I want. So I've selected this flower right here. Now, I'm not quite sure how I want this magnet to look because I'm not sure what I want to do. I could cut it out, I could engrave it, I could score it, I could do a variety of different things and each one is going to look pretty different. So let's see what this is going to look like in preview mode. So I know that I want to use red acrylic on this flower and I know that I probably want to cut out this flower. So I'm going to swap it from engrave to cut and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on this eye icon which switches it to preview mode so now you can see that this is what it would look like if it was cut out in red acrylic okay so of course I cut it out and I want to show you side by side what they look like so here is the preview and here is what it would look like once it's all cut out Okay, now let's change it up a bit. I think maybe I wanna engrave this flower piece. So what I'm gonna do is swap it in basswood on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my material to medium basswood hardwood. And I think I'm gonna engrave it. So I'm gonna go and swap it from cut to engrave and get an interesting idea of what that might look like. So I went ahead and cut it out and let me show you what it looks like. So here is what it would look like if it was engraved. And you can see that the preview mode gives you a really good like visual of what it could look like, which I love. Okay, so now what if I don't want to engrave it and I want to score it and paint it for example. So let's go back over and swap it from engrave to score. So you can see that you have a completely different look with that design. I'm also going to change the material. Maybe I'm going to use walnut hardwood. And now I can see that my lines are kind of there, but I think that if I score that and have it cut out and paint it, that paint is going to really pop because you can't really see those score lines. So this is what it's going to look like when it is scored. And there you go. So you can see the design looks so cool and it pops with the painted color on there, which I love. So there you have it. Three very different final products and we got to see all of them in preview mode. Now preview mode is currently available only in the Glowforge Pro and Plus HD models. You can also use it in your Glowforge Aura and Spark. And it's not tied to a Glowforge Premium subscription. So you don't need to have that in order to access it. So if you have one of these machines at home and have access to this feature, play around with it the next time you're not quite sure what you want your final product to look like. You might be pleasantly surprised with the ability to see your project before you actually make it. And if you have yet to add a laser to your space but you're thinking about it, 
consider signing up for my free class called A Path to Create, where I talk about all the things you need to determine before you should add a laser to your world. That's all for today, friends. See you next time.